everyone, welcome back to Vemi. Today is going to be a really cool day. I'm going to my very first fashion show and it's actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma where I'm at, which is wild, but I'm actually really excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun just being able to be in that type of environment for the first time. But what's going on in this fashion show is it's being put on by an organization called the Oklahoma Fashion Alliance and I know like whenever I first heard that name I'm not gonna lie I kind of chuckled because I was like that that can't be real I've never heard of that like all of the years that I've been in Oklahoma but it is a thing and when I looked deeper into it and did some more research I saw just how cool of a organization this is so the Oklahoma Fashion Alliance actually works with different people to create a fashion show and with the profits that they make from ticket sales and I'm sure that they take donations as well they actually use that to fund local artists makeup artists hair artists models photographers cinematographers all different types of people like in the creative space to help fund their dreams which is really really cool and I totally support that so I'm excited it's gonna be fun uh, it's Saturday right now. I don't even know what the actual date is, but it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful day today. It's like 70 degrees. The event is going to be inside. It's going to be tonight at 9 p.m. And then there's an after party at like 10. Should be a lot of fun. But um, my wife, Kristani, she got an invite from someone through a DM on Instagram. And uh, they gave us like a discount for the tickets. So... I know that we're sitting like in a reserved section with our names on it, which is going to be really cool. Uh, and then we paid for like the little after party thing. So it's going to be really dope. I'm, I'm really excited. And also at the same time, I was like, you know what? Why don't I take this opportunity to completely rebrand myself in terms of my look? Like, I feel like that's just like a fun little way to represent myself I guess so that's what I'm doing so I bought a really cool piece for uh, this fashion show which I guess I can get into later unfortunately it is not going to be here in time tried to buy a piece from this guy who is influencer on Instagram and it was a little sketch I'm not gonna lie I'm not even gonna get into like the drama the tea of all of that because it's just not worth it but long story short my item isn't going to get here in time that was going to be like my main piece and so my wife is the best because she like saw how just like just disappointed I was and it made me kind of sad because I was like oh man like I'm just going to have to like wear you know my normal clothes or whatever like try to figure something out um because I was actually really looking forward to this. Like, I've never been a part of anything like this before. And it's just, like, a cool way to, like, get to meet new people. And also, like, get some cool content while I'm there. Um, but anyway, so she, Kristani, like, saw that I was just, like, pretty upset, as I rightfully should be. Uh, but she was like, you know what? I got you. I'm going to take care of you. We're going to find, like, the same type of piece we actually went thrifting and found like the same type of piece we're gonna rip it up and uh, just make it look more textured and I'll show you like the full fit later on I think it's pretty dope I love it but also with the full transformation I actually got my hair done I actually got cornrows for the first time y'all like I'm so hype I love it like first of all whenever I had to like comb my hair out I didn't realize how much my hair had grown it look it looks so cool honestly I actually loved it like that but uh, then I went to my aunt's house my aunt was like super uh, super kind to like just yeah do my cornrows for free it took her a while and because you know all of my sides haven't like grown out all the way in the back like how the top of my hair has so it was like pretty difficult for her so thank you so much Aunt Marcy, I love you so much for dealing with me and doing that for this event for me. But uh, yeah, so got cornrows, right? I'm gonna have some teeth gems later. Uh, 
yeah, got the whole fit ready to go. Got a bunch of jewelry in the mail. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be dope. And to make me feel better, I was just gonna like paint my nails just one solid color because I was like, screw this, you know, whatever. I was just like kind of upset at the time that my item didn't get here in time. My wife was like, no, I'm gonna cheer you up. So check this out. Look at that. Is it gonna, yeah. Yo. I don't know if it's like focused. Isn't that sick? So not only did she like find all these different colors and put them all together, but she found like these kind of like stickers that give it this metallic-y feel and they just look so dope. So that made me super happy. Um, yeah, I love, I love my wife. I'm gonna take care of her and shower her with love and gifts today because she deserves it, but. Um, yeah, so I got all of that. I'm gonna show you the cornrows later and everything. It's gonna be fun. This was gonna kind of be like a day in the life slash vlog to my first fashion show, I guess. There's already some pieces I, you know, didn't really get to record. I woke up at like 7.30, kind of got ready, got my hair ready, went to my aunt's house, got the cornrows done. And now, yeah, it's like two o'clock, I think. I'm just gonna take time to rest a little bit. Then I'll get like the tooth gem stuff together, all of my accessories, and uh, get ready for this fashion show, which should be really cool, really fun. Obviously, I'm not expecting like, you know, this runway to be New York City, you know, fashion week. That's not the expectation. The expectation for me is just to meet people that love the same thing that I do, which is fashion, and be able to get some like cool outfits and film those. So and film the after party and all that. I want to take you guys with me through that. I think it's going to be cool. We're going to both be experiencing something new together, so it's going to be fun. All right, love you, peace. dark out I couldn't really record us driving because we were <laughs> we were super late but we just got here and there is a huge line wrapped around the building so I guess nobody's late so we're good so we're gonna get in the back of this line I'm gonna record like whenever we actually get inside show you our spots and all that stuff but all right we're just gonna wait in line right now I've never been like in a venue like this for a fashion show, so what am I saying? I've never been to a fashion show. I'm just excited. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But uh, this is gonna be really cool. So yeah, let's do it. We gotta find our seats.
All right, that was pretty cool. That was fun. Okay, recap on the show. That was actually like a lot of fun. I loved how the show went. I loved the venue. We ended up actually waiting outside for a long time just to get in the venue. So that was kind of a thing. But getting in, it was a really cool venue. I loved the way that they utilized like the models actually walking up at the very top of the building and then coming down on these stairs and then going through the aisles. I thought that was really unique. Um, I loved the looks. It was really fun to just like also like be in the second row and be at like a great spot. Um, it was really cool to see like so many people that we've been wanting to like meet in person for a while that are influencers or just friends online or whatever. So it's really cool to just meet and see a bunch of people that enjoyed the same thing. So that was fun. Literally the only complaint that I have is that I guess okay I have three major complaints one we waited so long outside just to get inside two which is the main thing I think the show was actually so short like it was way too short I think for how good of a show it was I just wish it was longer so I think altogether there were 16 looks but they were doing um, two looks at a time so it was really like timing wise it was like there was eight looks you know so I just wish that there were more looks, but still very, very cool. Love how they utilized the space, loved the looks, loved the show itself. And so I just wanted more. So positive feedback there. And then lastly, like, because everything got pushed back so late, we actually, whenever we went to the after party, we were in there for like five, 10 minutes. And then we all got kicked out of the building because of fire code or the time whatever it was i'm not sure but uh so that was that was interesting but i'm actually still pretty happy that i was able to meet a bunch of people and during that time i was able to get a few people's outfits so i'll definitely be posting those but yeah overall going to my very first fashion show and it being in tulsa oklahoma i was actually very pleased and um, shout out to Parker, the creative director that was over um, this entire show. Like, I don't even know him and I'm so proud of him. Like, it was just such a great turnout. There were supposed to be like around 200 people at the event and they ended up maxing out over 300 people. So super happy for them and everything that the Oklahoma Fashion Alliance is doing. And um, yeah, it was cool to just see people have fun, even get some connections, you know? So yeah, and then we ended up, a few of us ended up going to Velvet Taco, which is like a really good taco spot. We ended up staying there till like 1.30. I think it's almost two o'clock right now in the morning. So um, yeah, it was really fun. So I, I'm glad I had the opportunity to do all that. I literally see my wife looking at me. She's just laughing at me because she's inside of the house and I'm in the car just talking to a phone because this is my life now I'm not used to this and she's literally just like in the house laughing at me from the window that's great anyway if you like this video if you like these type of videos this kind of vlog whatever the hell this style is let me know man um, <laughs> leave a comment like the video share this with someone if you liked it and if you haven't subscribed yet, I think like 90%, it's a crazy number. 90% of the people that watch my videos have not subscribed. So like, just hit the subscribe button. It helps a lot. And uh, yeah, love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.